this is a tutorial on how to use Twixter, which is a plugin for Adobe After Effects. So, what the plugin does is it basically makes things in super smooth slow motion. Um, so, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want a short clip that you want to you want to slow down. It's super, super slow motion. So I've got one here. Um, just short invention, sculpting, seek, uh, animation, the animation, sculpting, uh, with an intervention. So, After Effects. Now, I've got After Effects CS5, but I've had problems installing uh, Twixter to it, it doesn't work, so. Um, after Effects CS4 is what you're going to want to use, so open it up. Dark clouds seem to follow me. Alcohol that my pop swallow bottle me. No apology. I walk with a bold on my shoulder. It's a cold war. I'm a cold. Okay, no after effects is loaded up. What you want to do is you want to import your clip. One of it. Drag and drop it. Put together pieces of a dream. I still have one. Into this panel. Then you want to go composition. New composition. You want it set to. HDV, HD, TV, 720, uh, 720, uh, 29.97 frames per second. Um, should be the set. Um, set your duration to 30 seconds. So, 30 seconds will be a max. You, you, the clip's not going to be 30 seconds. Um, but you cut it up. You'll see. Um, okay. So you want to drag clip into this bottom panel, and you can see the clip here. Um, I'll just get you a quick That's all it is, basically. I just want that extremely smooth. And then you do composition, new composition. Uh, same settings, just click OK. And then you want to drag comp one, comp panel. Um, and then what you want to do is the clip's only about half a second or something like that. Yeah, call it half a second. Um, you want to go effect, the revision plugins. Twix to 4.5 and then you can just but you want the speeds that may be you can test it around so if I change it to 50 oops, ah, uh, that's going to be a 50% speed play it through it'll be half as fast um, but obviously I want it a lot slower than that so I'll change it to about 10 um, Very slow. I call that about three and a half seconds. I want it to be about five seconds, so we'll change it to change it to seven. Um. Five seconds, near enough. Um. We'll play it through. This isn't real time, this is just uh, pre rendering it. I'll show you it in real time after this pre renders. Um, I'm not quite sure how this works actually. Like, it merges the, uh, the frames in a certain way and blurs it in a certain way. You see, it's like slightly distorted. Um, I'm not sure. I'll... It works, just use it. So it's pre rendered, so now you can watch it in real time. Very smooth, as you see. Um, it's not choppy, so that's what you get if you just uh, 
slow it down in Sony Vegas or uh, you know whatever you're using so I'd say that was done now um, what you want to do is you want to go to where the clip actually ends where it's completely black which is there and then you want to drag this to that point drag this to that point because what it'll do is it'll just render the black space um, I've made that mistake a few times just complete carelessness I'd say yeah, so we're not quite on it actually Right, now we're going to do the composition, make movie, render. And you'll hear that noise when you know it's done. Um, this is the 